This is an Apple refurbished device, and most people don't know that Apple even sells these at a slightly discounted price. Almost everyone who buys these devices is extremely satisfied, and some even go as far as to say that this is better than buying a brand new device. These go through extensive testing before they're sold. Some argue that the testing is even more extensive than when they sell them new. But here's the thing, they replace the outer shell of every refurb, which is a pretty hefty repair with a lot of room for error. I've never seen anyone take a look at the inside of these phones. Will there be any clues as to what Apple fixed? Was the repair tech sloppy? Will there be mistakes? I don't know, but let's find out. It's dull. Still works though. Kind of. Sometimes. There we go. And here is the iPhone 12 Pro with pecu pe peculiar box. And here is the iPhone 12 Pro. You can tell right away that the box is different from what you would usually get, although there is still an Apple logo over here and over here. It just says iPhone 12 Pro. So this actually cost me 1,329 Canadian dollars. That's very expensive compared to all the other refurbs out there, but it is by Apple. So you are getting a good guarantee that this device is working as you'd expect it to be. It's also 512 gigabytes, which is why it costs so much. Let's take a look and see what's inside. Something about plastic is just so satisfying but the turtles are more important. We'll open up the box. There it is. That is the gold iPhone 12 Pro. So far, this is basically the same unboxing experience if you were to buy this new. Let's take a look at the actual phone. We have the same seal that the new phone comes with. So in this video, I'm gonna be looking very closely at this phone because I don't think Apple would leave any obvious mistakes. But if anyone's been in this phone before, I'll be able to tell. Right off the bat, you can tell that the housing is brand new. There's no scratches, dust, or debris. It looks brand new. The screen also looks brand new with absolutely zero scratches from what I could tell. One thing I wanna see is if the iMEI is printed on the SIM card tray. Because if this is a new housing, there's probably also a new SIM card tray. We'll pop it out. And there it is. So they must have reprinted the iMEI onto the SIM tray. It's unlikely you'll get this kind of meticulous attention to detail with any other refurbishing company. Because you're paying a lot more for this refurbished device, these little details really matter. We'll power the device on. And it seems like the device comes with no battery. That's very strange. I've never had that before. Well, looks like we're gonna have to go ahead and charge the phone. While the phone's charging, let's take a look at the contents of the actual box. So we have the same SIM ejector pin. They give you the cheaper looking one that's kind of like a paper clip. We also have the Apple sticker and the instruction manual. Of course, we have the charging cable, but no charging cube because Apple. So I'm not really expecting to find anything wrong with the phone on the outside or its functionality. I just want to see how good of a job they did on the inside, but we got to make sure that everything works. So we'll activate the phone and then we're going to go through some tests and I'll kind of show you guys how I test a phone anyway. So now that we have the phone at the home screen, we're going to go ahead and test some of the functionalities out. So to test the touch, what I typically do is I hold down the power button hold down the volume up button, and then I grab this slider over here. You don't want to grab the SOS one because... So we'll grab this slider and we kind of just go back and forth and this is how you test the touch. We go edge to edge on the screen and I turned it off by accident. And now we'll go ahead and test things like Face ID. So Face ID works. We're gonna go ahead and test all the microphones and the speakers. We'll go to voice memo and we're gonna hit record and basically just talk. So what this does is it tests majority of the microphones and it also tests both the loudspeaker and the front speaker because when we hit play, record and we're just gonna say a few words, it plays out of the loudspeaker as well as the front speaker, which both are working. We're gonna go ahead and test out the cameras now. The main thing I'm checking for is to see how well the autofocus works on each camera. Both the cameras and cellular are functioning as they should. So we've confirmed pretty much all the functionalities of this phone are working as they're supposed to be, which is good and expected obviously because this is by Apple. But what we all came here for is to see what Apple changed inside the phone. I've never seen this done before and you probably haven't either. So this is a moment to write down in history, maybe. To do this, we're gonna be using Apple's display remover tool. 
We're also gonna be putting on gloves because, well, we don't wanna leave any fingerprints. So this device heats up the sides of the iPhone. The heat is transferred through those gold plates. Basically, this loosens the adhesive of the actual display, and then you can lower the suction cup and lift it up, and the display will come with it. Now we can get a good look at this refurb. So I haven't actually opened this up yet, but the machine did most of the work for us. Because these displays keep getting thinner, a machine like that is becoming more and more crucial for phone repair shops. And the moment of truth. Let's, uh, let's open this up. And check that out. That is the refurbished iPhone 12 Pro. Everything looks pretty good. The only thing I'm noticing is that this plate is a little bit crooked, which can happen when you're screwing on the plate. And a bit of the fingerprints here, that could have been me, but it is unlikely since I was wearing gloves. Other than that, I can't really find any fingerprints or any other signs that this was even opened. But if we take a closer look, we might still find something. I am noticing that this screw seems to have been over tightened or perhaps tightened improperly. It's a very minute detail, but I mean, Apple did refurbish this, so my minute details is probably all we're gonna find. Now we're gonna take a deeper dive and see if there are any secrets hiding within this almost perfect front. Aside from this screw, it actually looks really messed up. We'll hit the crooked plate with an unscrew. I have seen Apple devices straight out of the factory with strip screws and other issues, so it'll be interesting to see what we can find. We have a little mark here, very bad Apple, what are you doing? <laughs> but again, this mark won't affect functionality. We'll disconnect the battery, disconnect the display, Unscrew, remove this plate, and now we can completely remove the screen. I see absolutely no issues with this. I really think that there must be something I can find underneath, maybe a mistake the technician made. We'll tear this down a little bit deeper and see what we can find. We'll remove the motherboard, the front camera, the back camera, the SIM card reader, the Taptic engine, and the battery. Tearing this phone down felt like I was tearing down a brand new phone, but then I found something I never thought I would. Absolutely nothing. This phone is basically brand new. Aside from the scratches and the fingerprints that we found earlier, there's literally nothing to see here, which is what you'd expect with an Apple refurbished phone considering they make these devices. We've taken a look at tons of devices from other refurbishing companies and obviously none of them were as good as this one. If you are looking to buy a brand new Apple device, look no further than the refurbished tab on Apple's website. Not only is it cheaper but there's literally no difference compared to a brand new one aside from this interesting box anyway guys if you enjoyed this one please hit that like button this was not cheap also subscribe if you aren't already and uh, let me know what you guys want me to do next I'll see you in the next one peace